No self-discipline, no self-control, no sense of history, no understanding of the limits uh, of the kind of power that any president should impose upon himself. He has shown none of that. Let's return to torture. And you know what? I will order the American military to commit war crimes. What he has laid out is the most dangerous, reckless approach to being president than I think we've ever seen. The Knowing, most dangerous man ever to run for president of the United States. I believe that. There is a lot of fear in our country. And when Americans are worried, they're looking for answers. He's providing simplistic, easy answers. Let's make America great again, which means basically we'll go back to the way it was. And you, you out there, whoever you are, you're going to have a better shot. I have a very clear sense of what we can do that will actually produce results, not just demagogic rhetoric, but real results. I mean, this really goes to the core of how some people in significant polls say, well, I, they say I, I think they don't trust you. Well, but and you have thought about this and you have begun to speak about yes, this. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Well, tell us. Well, I mean, it, it, is, it is something that clearly I don't like to hear. Uh, nobody would. And it is at such variance with the way I am perceived when I'm doing a job. Part of it is seeking this job at this time of fear, anxiety, discouragement, rejectionism that is unfortunately part of our political environment right now.